So the Republicans are using their House majority to do exactly what you would have expected them to do. They're going to hold hearings on Social Security in order to attempt to cut it. So here's what it says in Raw Story. The Republican-controlled House Budget Committee is set to convene a hearing Wednesday to examine legislation that would establish a so-called fiscal commission for the U.S. debt, a proposal that critics have called a Trojan horse for Social Security and Medicare cuts. Look, it's not even much of a Trojan horse. I mean, it's actually kind of straightforward that they're, oh, our debt and the deficit, oh my God, we got to do something about it, bro. Hey, what are the things we should cut? Oh, let's go with the thing that we've been saying we should cut for decades and decades and decades, namely... Payment for your grandma and grandpa. House Speaker Mike Johnson is a longtime proponent of Social Security cuts. By the way, incredibly Christian. He's an evangelical fundamentalist Christian. But he missed the part of the Bible where Jesus, like, looks after the poor and the sick and the elderly and the downtrodden. Um... House Speaker Mike Johnson, a longtime proponent of Social Security cuts, described such a commission as one of his top priorities... Of all the things to do, cut payments for grandma. After winning the gavel last month, and right-wing organizations such as the Coke-connected group FreedomWorks have endorsed the idea, of course they have, a fiscal commission of the kind backed by congressional Republicans and some conservative Democrats, including Senator Joe Manchin, oh boy, would be tasked with analyzing Social Security, Medicare, and other U.S. trust fund programs and developing policy recommendations ostensibly aimed at improving the program's finances. The policy proposals would then be put on a fast track in both the House and the Senate. So, remember guys, this is the like Orwellian weasel words that are used. We don't want to cut the program. We want to reform the program. We don't want to cut the program. We want to save the program. This is the way that they talk. But what they really mean is, we're going to cut Social Security and Medicare. That's what, that's what they really mean. And this is, the, this is the aspect of politics that I find so deeply disingenuous. I actually could respect much more, say, a libertarian who comes... Or like Thomas Massey, if you talk to him, he might say it straight up. Because he's, he's ideological, and he has a position, and he thinks he's right. So he'll say, yeah, I want to cut Social Security and Medicare. I wish we didn't even have Social Security and Medicare. That's what he would say. Because he's honest and direct and straightforward. But all these other Weasley politicians know, hey, this is a political third rail. Nobody likes it if you try to cut these programs. No actual voters, even Republican voters, don't like it if you try to cut these programs. So that's why they change the language. Oh, we're not cutting it. We're reforming it. We're not cutting it. We're saving it. And the tale is old as time. They even tried to do this. Back in the George W. Bush administration, they tried to do this. They tried to privatize Social Security. They say Social Security Works and other progressive organizations have stressed that Social Security does not add to the federal debt and warned against the growing push for a fiscal commission. Quote, that's code for a death panel designed to cut Social Security and Medicare behind closed doors. Social Security Works wrote in a social media post on Monday in response to the impending hearing. MAGA Mike Johnson and his fellow Republicans desperately want this commission to give bipartisan cover to benefit cuts. Democrats must stand united against it. The House Budget Committee's Wednesday hearing will feature testimony from Manchin and Mitt Romney, who earlier this month teamed up to introduce legislation that would establish a 16-member bipartisan bicameral fiscal commission compromised of 12 elected officials and four outside experts. Manchin and Romney have both said they're not running for re-election next year. Alex Lawson, executive director of Social Security Works, called Manchin and Romney cowards who are quitting and heading out of town but want to set up a closed-door commission to cut Social Security and Medicare on the way out the door. The only reason to make changes to Social Security via a closed-door commission is to cut already modest earned benefits. According to a legislative summary released by Manchin's office, the commission would produce a report and propose a package of legislative solutions to improve the long-term fiscal condition of the federal government. Oh, it's so weaselly, these words. Stabilize the ratio of public debt to GDP within a 15-year period and improve solvency of federal trust funds over a 75-year period. That's all fancy speak for we're gonna cut it. If the commission approves proposed legislative language, it would receive expedited consideration in both chambers. In other words, it's going to jump the line. So this is viewed as like one of the most important things that we must work on right now. Quick, take food out of grandma's mouth. The summary continues, quote, while 60 votes would be required to invoke cloture prior to final passage in the Senate, only a simple majority would be needed for the motion to proceed, which would be privileged. Wow. Wow. So now, of course, they go on to explain in this article something that all of you guys already know, which is the way the tax works right now, the payroll tax 
works right now. That's the social, social security tax. You get taxed on your first $160,000 per year, but everything over that isn't taxed at all. So the way you could fix social security and make it solvent, as far as the eye could see, is to just get rid of that uh, payroll tax cap. And even if you just raise it, forget getting rid of it, even if you just raise it to like a million dollars a year, you would, it, I mean, social security would be flush with money as far as the eye can see. So this isn't actually a problem. This isn't actually a problem. It's just that these guys want to raid Social Security and Medicare. They've been horny to do this for decades now. This is what they wanted to do. Uh, now, thankfully, Biden has said repeatedly, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to cut it. So even if something theoretically got to Biden's desk, he wouldn't sign it. But remember, Biden, prior to being president, also wanted to cut Social Security and Medicare, and he talked about it quite openly. So which Biden is sitting in the, the White House right now? I don't know which one. Right. Do I think Trump would sign cuts to Social Security and Medicare? Yes, I do. And I also think he would brag about it and say, I'm not cutting it. I'm saving it. I'm not cutting it. I'm reforming it. I'm not cutting it. I'm making it better. When at the end of the day, if people on Social Security are getting less money every month, that's a cut. That's a cut. And by the way, the media are going to be their best friends because they always fall for the head fakes and the tricks in the Weasley language. All of the time, they fall for that. Now, by the way, Let's reflect on this fact for just a second. Th this commission is all, all the fiscal responsibility and debt. We need to fix this. This is like what the nominal reason for this hearing is. Oh, yeah, we have to get our fiscal house in order with all this debt and the deficits that we run. We just told you the other day. The Pentagon failed its sixth audit in a row. Sixth audit in a row. The Pentagon can't account for 61% of the money that's given to them. 61%. That means they literally can only track 39% of their funds. If you want to talk about reducing the debt, if you want to talk about saving money, I'm literally not interested in this conversation unless you say, we're going to look at the military first. That's the first thing on the chopping block. Why? Well, I don't know. They can't count for more than $1.5 trillion. I mean, this is, guys, let's be serious here. This is, we're being robbed. The Pentagon is looting the treasury. Raytheon, Boeing, uh, Honeywell, all these companies are looting the treasury. And of course, everybody looks the other way. Why? Because they pay the politicians bribes. They pay them campaign contributions. And, and they pass these no-bid contracts for them to get, and they look the other way, and it doesn't matter that uh, they're effectively stealing trillions of dollars. It doesn't matter. They get away with it. But, but, God forbid your grandma be able to pay her rent. God forbid your grandma be able to afford three meals a day. That is unacceptable. That we're going to have to revisit. This is why nobody takes these people seriously. This is why this is a sick joke. This is why everybody realizes the government is insanely corrupt. Even if people don't know the details and the specifics, they know it on some intuitive gut level. That something's not right here. Something's not right. Because the first stuff they put on the chopping block, Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, and then you saw the Republican budget that they tried to pass. What did they have in there? Cuts to the Head Start program and Meals on Wheels and baby formula for babies from uh, economically downtrodden families. Like, all of the things that would literally be the last thing you would cut if you care about prioritizing based on morality. That's the first thing they want to cut. So, hell no, I say to this. Hell no, I say to this. If you want to do anything with Social Security, you lift the cap on the tax and make rich people pay a little more, and then everybody's happy. And if anything, I mean, Bernie proposed this back when he ran, expand Social Security. I believe in Social Security for all as effectively like a UBI check, right? But a while ago, I didn't support UBI. Then I learned more about it, and I saw how successful it is in these pilot programs, and I thought, that's actually a fantastic idea. What's one of the great ways to improve somebody's life very quickly? Well, take people who are poor and give them a little bit of money. <laughs> and uh, that tends to help out a lot. So anyway, I'm for Social Security for all, but these guys are for cutting it. And that's, uh, those are even the more moderate ones are for cutting it. There's some that just want to do away with it completely or totally privatize it. 
Because, you know, what happens if you turn all those funds over to Wall Street? I'm sure there'll be no shenanigans with that. I'm sure it'll be okay the next time we have a giant economic downturn. I'm sure your money's going to be safe. Uh, this is crazy. And this is what they're focusing on. This is what they're focusing on right now. This is what is hopping the line in terms of priorities. Cutting money to your grandma and grandpa. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.